Hi, I'm Swati Chaudhary of Synergos Consulting Services. We work with companies and foundations to create social impact in emerging economies. Allow me to share insights from Synergos on selecting the right hub and spoke partners. A hub and spoke is a partnership model for funders and NGOs. A hub is a large national or international NGO with wide reach and spokes are grassroots NGOs that work in niche geographies or communities. The hub and spokes work together for broad scale and deep impact. There are many NGOs doing great work, but not all can fit this approach. So it's important to invest in due diligence to find the right partner. First, get to know your program's location and community so that you can digest partner information in light of the reality on the ground. Start with desk research, then visit the place and use a local guide. Understand your partner's operating model. Discover their work first time through a site visit. See if you can explain to somebody else what this partner does. Seek a trusted second opinion and imagine yourself working day to day with them. Look for capacity. A new partnership can require going beyond their day to day work. So ask yourself and your partners if they're ready to scale up and meet these added demands. For hub partners specifically, think big. If your program shows signs of success, you may discover that you want to scale or replicate this. Consider a hub who also has similar growth ambitions or someone who already has reach in your future areas. Ask your hub partner how they've institutionalized their knowledge from previous programs, how they've documented processes and results. Ask about the type of governance models they've used before. This is really important for building room in the program for learning and course adjustments. For spoke partners, the most crucial requirement is rapport with the community. Look for how long a partner has been operating in this community, whether the employees and leaders are from there, if they know the language, and if they're familiar with the history of the place. Observe how they interact with the men and the women, and what they have to say about the most marginalized in the community. Let me share an example from India where we work with a number of clients. I was just there visiting a village in Andhra Pradesh with the leader of a grassroots organization. This guy knew every family, every child, history of every house. People greeted him with such enthusiasm and asked about his own family. He gave us insights and access that outsiders rarely get. His positive rapport gave us confidence that if we were to engage in this community in an authentic way, this spoke would be the right partner. In some places, you might find many grassroots organizations, whereas in other areas, the options are limited. So understand the landscape in your location. Get the help of trusted local contacts to figure this out. It'll help you understand the saturation of NGOs and how each one differentiates itself. It's a great indicator of who else your spokes will need to interact with, the challenges and opportunities they'll need to navigate, and therefore the types of inputs and skills your program will require from a spoke partner. At the end of the day, it's people working with other people. What's most important is to achieve results for an effective program.